Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. It has been a fantastic Friday night. Clear skies, light winds, a great night for high school football. And you can see with uh, just a few of our sky trackers looking pretty good right now across the central part of the state. Let's take you to the Colleen Sky Tracker right now. Again, this is our live Centex Roof System Sky Tracker. It's on the rooftop of one Colleen Center. Clear skies, quiet weather right now across the region. As we take a look at those temperatures, for the most part, they're slowly starting to dip into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Bunch of 81s right on down the I-35 corridor. It's 84 right now in Colleen, 79 up in the Comanche area, and the current temperature in College Station right at 82 degrees. Satellite photo, we have pretty quiet conditions across our area. Once again, we don't have too many clouds to speak of. A few clouds to the uh, northwest of our area, and uh, again, a few hit and miss clouds off to the east, again, all associated with Nicholas in parts of Louisiana. Tonight, though, I think skies will remain mostly clear, looking pretty comfortable. We're looking at temperatures low to mid 70s by the uh, midnight hour and by early tomorrow morning, dropping into the upper 60s and lower 70s. So, again, a pretty nice start to the weekend as we go throughout the morning, mostly sunny skies. We'll start to notice a few high clouds start to drift in mid to upper 80s by noon and by the afternoon a few spotty showers will be possible but i think mainly to the east of i-35 and maybe even east of i-45 by the afternoon it's going to be rather hot it's going to be more humid tomorrow temperatures climbing into the low to mid 90s by saturday night mainly clear skies quiet conditions low temperatures falling back down into the upper 60s and lower 70s and again as we start off the day on sunday we're looking at a few clouds rolling in there and there's that moisture trying to throw back here again that's what's left over of nicholas and it just sits and spins but i think with the heat of the day once again right along i-35 and then aries back off to the east have a 20 percent chance if you're going to be west especially over toward brownwood limpasas comanche there's no rain in the forecast whatsoever tropical storm odette there it is yes we're at the o's already it's up here in the northeastern part there's the northeast united states uh, and it's going to be traveling back up to the northeast you can see the movement about 15 miles per hour uh, sustained winds right around 40 miles per hour but there's another little system that we're kind of keeping our eyes on and there it is right there that little disturbance that's uh, going to be moving uh, over the next five days basically in that uh, red cone the uh, national hurricane center is giving this Little system right now, an 80% chance of tropical development. Uh, and if it does get a name, the next name on the list is the P's, right? Peter, that's the next name. So uh, we're going to be talk probably talking about that pretty soon here uh, as that gets strong enough. Tonight, though, clear skies. Again, a gorgeous evening, and a, it's going to be really nice overnight. 70 degrees, the nighttime low. Winds uh, out of the east and northeast, around 5 miles per hour. So winds not too strong. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow. 94 degrees, the high temperature. There's that 20% chance of a passing shower or storm. But again, right along I-35 and then areas back off to the east. That's going to be mainly about it. Now, as we look ahead here, this is the uh, Nissan Central Long Range 10-day forecast. Another nice day on Sunday. Look at that. 98 degrees for the high on Monday. What a burner, right? It's going to be a hot day. That's right out ahead of a front. Now, this front is going to be moving through Tuesday into Wednesday. And of course, Wednesday is the first day of fall. It's going to feel like it. Again, we're going to see a chance of showers on Tuesday. Wednesday, look at the highs, low to mid-80s. But look at the low temperatures. 56 by Thursday morning, 59 by Friday morning. That's going to feel wonderful here in our area. Next weekend, temperatures again, where they should be, upper 80s to around 90 degrees. And then down toward Bryan and College Station, we're looking at a little bit better chance of some rain. On again, off again, Saturday and Sunday would cancel any of your plans right now. But it does look like that front's going to move through again Tuesday into Wednesday. So some slightly cooler weather. Again, fall officially arrives on Wednesday. And then we're going to see temperatures feeling like fall. Pretty nice. Yeah.